Hey guys, this is Exeno Paintball, and today I'm going to be showing you my um, custom painted Project Salvo. I'm going to be deconstructing it and having you. I'm going to tell you about how it's related to the Titman 98 custom. But I'm not sure this won't fit on the camera. It's a very large gun. Here, let me put the clip in. I've been using these Allen wrenches in the clip. But yeah. I'm not sure if you can see this all that well, but I put a tactical strap here because when I was at D-Day, Oklahoma D-Day, um, it was very heavy for me because I was younger then. But yeah, right now it's not that heavy, but I had to get a strap because you have to carry stuff and you it, it, there's a lot of walking. But anyways, I didn't. I have this new barrel. It is a, um, I believe, a Raptor barrel with a Gym Tech silencer. I got this from RIP4, or Raptor. This is the original barrel that it came with. As you can see, it fits in there nicely. See, this is the original barrel. But yeah, this is a, I, I really like this paint job. I didn't do it to blend in. I just did it to look plain badass. So, this is going to take a while. It's a pretty, it's a longer job deconstructing this gun than doing other guns because it's, it's pretty large. And the Titmans are kind of, it's got a lot of parts. So, first thing I'm going to do is, um, let me get my Allen keys here. I'm going to take off the, well actually, first I need to take off the strap. And another thing I'm doing is, this gun broke, there's a spring, in <coughs> there's a spring inside that that's that's what holds this back because it has a little. I'll show you, but yeah, and I need to replace it because I bent the spring on it. I got a replacement one. I got to put in there. It's one of the only reasons I'm making this video because I really didn't want to have to open this up again. But as you can see, there's the paint's a little coming off here where I've rubbed up against stuff, and but the paint it stays on pretty well. It's only this one side that's come off because I rub up against stuff when I'm playing on this side. So, I'm getting a new gun. As I told you, I'm getting the uh, the Dangerous Power G3 because I, I'm going to go light. I'm going to try to get a lighter gun so I can... Uh, the way I play, I run up. I just run up and I, I, I never get hit for some reason. But I just run up and shoot the guy all the time. I'm... I don't know how I do it. Okay, so we got this out. And then in the back... Wait, no. Where's my Allen wrench? Okay. So these things have the uh, nuts in the back also, so they might fall off when you're unscrewing. But okay. The only thing I hate about these Titmans, like the 98 Custom and this, the exact same internally, pretty much, is they got the um, detachable... Uh, things here, and it's really hard to keep track of this little piece that's in here. I'll show it to you once I get it open. But this is a very good gun. I this is currently the gun I'm using right now until I get my new one, and I I do enjoy this gun. It works very well. Um, it's it's durable, it's tough, and it's easy maintenance, or it's not really that easy, but of course watching this video will make it easy. Okay, so, damn, it's kind of stuck in there pretty good. Okay, there we go. There is, um, what is this called? Handguard. See, originally I just had the body painted, and then I painted the handguard, and then I painted the stock, because I thought it looked way better if it all would match, and it does. 
just the body painted. It, it like just imagine the body painted and then black. Yeah, it's okay. Like I didn't paint the clip because it's you know you remove the thing all the time and it would scratch it up and it's just it would be pointless. Okay, let's we got that removed. Now let's remove the stock. Now this stock is collapsible. It's got like I think six positions. Or and it's foldable. So you can fold it and everything. It's real nice. But let's take the stock out. So we got this Allen key here. This one's too small. I'm gonna have to use a bigger one. Alright. Start unscrewing this. Okay, after three hours, we finally get this thing out. Now, to remove the stock, all you got to do is it slides like that. Now, the thing that I've learned, the back piece here is the exact same as the Tipman 98 inside. So, I'm pretty sure if you just, like, remove this piece, take this apart, you can stick Tipman 98 stocks on this gun. But I don't know why you would want to, because this stock rocks. Okay first of all. But say you wanted to put a saw stock on there, you know, or G360 or whatever, you know, if or smaller stock. But yeah. So we got the stock off. So now we just got the body of the gun. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just take the clip out here, set it aside. So we got our safety right here. As you can see, it's very nice. And you can see right here in this hole how it works. Now, I like the Titmans because the ball, what's it called again? Ball stopper here in, in the breech, it's on the bottom instead of on the side. Like with the uh, view loader high velocity and the, let's see, what other things? I believe the brass eagle that I showed you in my other video. And these do have rails. This has a rail on the top. I have a scope for this. It's actually a red dash sight. It's supposed to look like a scope and then I have a bipod, but that just makes the gun ten times heavier. So I don't use it. Anyways, now we're at eight minutes, so I'm gonna have to make probably three or four parts to this video. Now see what we got here. Okay, right now I'm just going to remove bottom thing CO2. Now when I did this, I wrapped this, when I painted this, I wrapped the, like, the braid and this part up with tape so it didn't get any paint on it. I just like completely wrap it. And I take the grip off when I paint. It's stupid. A stupid thing to do if you paint the grip. I mean, just idiotic. I've seen videos of people who've custom painted their guns and they got paint all over the grip. And I, I'm just like, that's a real stupid thing to do. You deserve to die. No, but don't paint the grip. And don't paint over the labels. On the salvo, I couldn't help because it was really hard for me to get this part covered up so there's a little paint on there but I could always take a wire brush to it and scrape it off. Okay, well, time's almost up here. This was an ex like, I forgot my name. Xeno I don't know. Xeno Paintball, that's right. So this was Xeno Paintball um, and watch part two.